my name is Lanzer. I am an NC main. I, I vanguard as much as I possibly can because how much I love vanguarding. I've been doing it for a while. And uh, so this is a follow-up to my NC vanguard loadout introduction. <laughs> okay. Dervis kill. Cool. So th this is a follow-up to that. And, and the things I wanted to go over in this video in particular are in-game, at-play quality of life increases that can immediately improve your your live play. These are things I've been doing for a while. I know other tankers do the same thing, but stuff that when you're playing, this will help you kill better, help you drive better, help you tank better, uh, if you choose to embrace it. None of this is required to be better. It's just one of the things that that is possible that can that can help you out. So the very first thing is, and I don't know how many other people are doing this, but yeah, I haven't really heard much of it, is the look left and look right. So here's me looking left and looking right. But the game defaults have a look left, up, right, down function uh, that you can put uh, your keybind on your keyboard. So you know, this is me looking left, looking right, looking up and looking down using my keyboard. And these are two settings under the vehicle key binding keys, look left and look right. And um, it, yeah, so you can look left, look right, up and down on your keyboard. Now the reason why that's an improvement for you, or, and I use this all the time, is when I'm looking left and looking right with my mouse, looking left and looking right on the keyboard, you can combine these to look left and look right even faster. So as I showed you looking left, looking right with the mouse, looking left and looking right on the keyboard, when I combine them, I am almost twice as fast, a good 150% faster. Now, you, as you can tell, my tank is a little bit slow to catch up. But in terms of like tracking a harasser, trying to play Ring Around the Rosie, I'm able to do this much faster than I would if I was just using my mouse. So I use my left and right with my mouse swivel all the time. In, and if I didn't want to, uh, well, I guess you could say it just kind of creates like a passive look left, look right. So me apply my mouse, me not. Me apply my mouse, me not. And that was it. Once you learn how to do it, it's a little bit awkward at first. But once you learn how to do that, it's kind of a cool augment to your ability to swivel and look around and acquire targets faster. So that's the first thing. And again, that's under settings, vehicle, key bindings, look left, look right. For me, I have a 4-5 button mouse on my Razer Death Adder, so I use those two because of how frequently I use it in vehicles. Just all the time. Uh, the second thing is the recursion stra stat tracker. So see that little dot there in the middle of my screen right above my halberd is the that vehicle dot here. That's a dot reticle that in under interface you can select that so that it shows it automatically. But what I noticed is that when I'm battling on live, it's very easy to lose that dot uh, because it does so without like the kind of the black shadow you see. It's just it's just a little dot. And and be kind of be hard to orient and that's pretty important for me as a tanker to try and orient where my cannon should be especially when I'm swiveling around so fast and and I my turret needs a second to to catch up and I also use it as kind of like a third person aim function um, because of how you know it's it's not a laser you just use it to know where to hit to like hitting the dervish I need to go up a little bit more Hitting the liberator, just kind of like at the top, because if all the, yeah, it's kind of little. And then, you know, hitting a person, maybe right about there. Nope. A little higher. Nope. Anyways. <laughs> uh, using the recursion stat tracker creates a, a black shadow around the dot, which you can change colors also if I 
remember correctly. And it makes it a lot easier to see my dot and figure out where I am so that when I come across like a galaxy like that, I know how high I should start shooting. I'm able to target acquire much faster. And then, oh, there's a Colossus. Then I can switch back and forth as needed. That sort of thing. So that's the recursion stat tracker and how that improves my quality of life, target acquiring, and knowing where my middle reticle is. Uh, the set third thing would be the field of view in the render distance. So for me, I always found that the, the vertical field of view, maxing that out has always helped me the most. That Your mileage may vary on that, but when it comes to the way I play, I want to see everything as fast as I can. That way I can triage targets and, and know which ones I want to hit faster than the others. So I, I up my field of view as max as I can and also my global render distance. I, I max that so that I can see as far as I can and, and that way I can you know, get a beat on what's under that tree if I need to start hitting it who's underneath it that that's always been a good quality of life thing for me that has helped my both my survivability and my enabling my killing power and the last thing is the vanguard shield so as i said in my loadout video the vanguard shield is pretty much a staple although it, it doesn't have to be but the vanguard shield gives you a lot of flexibility and and fighting and tanks so what I normally do is uh, I use a lot of speed, momentum, and I'm, I'm a very aggressive tanker. So I like getting in people's faces when possible. But definitely uh, I end up going one-on-one -on -one with a lot of different vehicles, whether it be prowlers, lightnings, harassers, a lot. And, and sometimes they, for whatever reason, think that they can ram me and, and be in a better position than me <laughs> at the end of it. But with the shield, even though the van even with the vanguard's kind of tough pool st structure, the the shield just kind of makes that de facto. Um, there, are, unless you're trying to go up against the colossus, when the ram starts coming my way, I fully embrace that, and I use my vanguard shield as like a battering ram to survive. And put myself in a better spot. Like at the last second. You can see how little damage that did to me. Uh, out of. <laughs> yeah. You can you can see just how little damage that did. And how easy it is to wrap me back up to 6,000 health. <sighs> Whereas if that was a lightning ramming me. I could do a, what, a quarter health damage to its pool. And. By that point, I've already sunk two or three rounds into his face. I'm in a much better to survive, much better position to survive that engagement than is the other, even if it's a prowler. The only one this really doesn't work for is the the mag rider because it's a grav tank, and then also the chimera. It's a little bit hard to pan if you go head to head or side. Like if I hit the chimera at an angle, then there's a much better chance of me actually ramming into it. Versus if I try to hit it from behind where the the way its wheels are put together, I might just go right underneath it. Like this. So, yeah, but I use the Vanguard Shield as my Swiss Army knife and dealing with everything from mitigating long-range damage to a battering ram to you know, C4. Everything I can think of. I use the this thing for, but I particularly enjoy using it as a battering ram. So that's it. That's kind of like some immediate quality of life things that you can do as a tanker that should improve your gameplay uh, it, definitely over time, but also you can start doing these things in the short term. That would be the, the looking left and right as a summary, looking left and right on your key bindings vehicle using this in conjunction with your mouse swivels, the reticle, using Recursion Strat Tracker to create a shadow underneath your reticle to be able to find it faster and easier, 
doing the field of vision under graphics, uh, the field of view, maxing that out in your global render distance, and then also using the Vanguard Shield as a battering ram to survive engagements or put yourself in a better survivability than, than your enemy. And that's what I wanted to go over. Uh, as you can see, not exactly loadout stuff, but more of like in-game quality of life, something that you can do to improve your, your Vanguard play. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.